Okay, zero dollar on the five minute chart with RSI at three. So these divergences have been failing, but every divergence failure is an entry. If you look at the underside of this RSI, um, so this divergence here failed. But when we pulled back after the failure, I mean, it sold off a little bit. Then you got this uh, entry here. So this is your entry line. You're buying below that. And we're finally getting a hidden divergence, which means that uh, this triple divergence has inside it this divergence. And this is kind of like just about to give up the ghost that's coming into the... Uh, something happens here at 11.30. I'm not exactly sure. I think maybe Europe closes or something. And this is always a big deal. And here I got the, the daily. Now I can switch right to the half hour and see how that looks. Um, we just turned 11.30 right there. So it's like the tippy top. And a lot of times these sessions will just turn on a dime like that. So there was, this, there was the um, smash back to the round before the big zoom up. And I'm just selling a little bit at the top here, but I realized that when we come back to here, this could be another entry. So these divergences on a hard day is usually just a detour. But in this instance, um, just looking to make 10, 15 pips here at the top. And this whole uh, thing here has been very dicey because this would have been... Another thing is, is that as these stack up, all these pivots that became buys... That is where you're going to draw your trend line off of these two, so you know exactly where to draw the trend line. There isn't a doubt. Okay, so now this is the first rollover. If this is the um, resistance now, and if you wanted to go um, and hang off of every zigzag, of course this five-minute chart is tradable at this time of day because there's so much movement that there's enough contour to it to use it. Then you would go through these two, right? So you're just starting to roll over the top of this, but we could still go up because you're still getting this. You have to wait another um, five minutes. Now we get some follow through here. Come down 10 pips. I'll be out of uh, most of this. And then what I do is I come and put sell limits back up in here so I can keep cap recapturing that top. So let me just, um, let's see, let me just hit pause here and come back. It's been 22 minutes, and we got another pullback in here, another buy signal. Problem is that um, really starting to uh, get a down slope going on this uh, RSI here. Now, if we break this trend line, then we're going to blow out the top, we're going to go higher, and I'm going to sell more up here. And that's why divergence um, blows up people's accounts because they keep saying, well, I got divergence, so I sold. Um, but the problem is you got three. Um, well, this isn't really three because uh, it needs to be more oversold at a higher price to qualify as a reversal. So if you connect these two and find the corresponding price, it's like it, it comes up to this. But this is now, when we break this, this is going to be a bloodbath to the south. So we're, as we're forming this triangle, you're getting like um, a little bit of a, uh, information here as far as all this really is is a trend line. The difference between, a say you drew a trend line like up here, starts to come away from that trend line. So it's diverging from the projection. So all it's really doing is just an index, and uh, you know when it maxes out, it's as if you've gone through the the trend line channel. But this half hour is getting very narrow, and we we're only into uh, here was the um, the trend line, this triple top that was taken out here, and then the uh, washout before the the real move. And looking back here at the um, there's a bottom in here. You had to be able to survive that um, plunge. But we bounced off, bounced off it here and then came back. 
bounced off it there, but then I guess the news came out or something. I guess the, um, what is it, non-farm payroll. So definitely the buyers would be coming in here for a, like a bounce, just a scalp bounce off of that. Looks like we're going up here. So this is the breakout. If we take out the high of the day here, then we're just going to go up, zoom. Now one of my orders just disappeared on the clock, so now I'll be selling up here. Because now to me, um, this is ripe selling zone. If I think we're going up there on a break of this trend line, um, and then I'll just wait for about um, another, you know, um, wait till the, wait about another 20 minutes, come back. If it hasn't filled on these cells up here, and these guys disappear in about um, an hour. If you set these orders so they disappear in like uh, one hour, you can put a literally a um, an ungodly amount in there because um, what's the chances we could go up to, uh, 100 pips in an hour from here? Of course, this is this is always how these roll. This will go to the go to the 15, and look at this is the first pullback in all that time, and now you got a cup and handle thing here. So this could be, the, you know, this would just be the cup. I mean, you haven't seen the handle, I guess. Just blow it out. But I definitely think uh, with these divergences setting up here, now if you go to the 15 on this, take a look, see where you're at. You can see your first reversal here. Problem is, is this is happening kind of late but that's how these things go i mean when they just keep going and people just can't believe it you know oh my god what's what's causing that and it'll just be basically the, the the shock and all the panic about of course now this is the trend line to break and that looks pretty easily breakable um, go to the five so here's my rollover and um go back and put these divergences in the first painfully obvious is this perfect triple top divergence. So when that divergence becomes support on the pullback, that's another indication using that as if it's price. Because this is definitely a divergence here. And um, if you stretch this out, it's like some of these CCI people. Um, there's a CCI guy out there. I can't remember. He's like the king of CCI and... Um, they just trade. They just trade down here. This buy and sell right down there. Unbelievable. Um, kind of like to see the price I'm at, but yeah. So this is kind of waffling, and this could go on for hours. But it looks like we're going up here. We broke that. The versions failed, but I'm actually short. So, but it's it's less risky here. Not the market's quiet. These moves are pretty, uh, of course, look at this half hour. This will look like a flat spot if we keep marching up in the next, uh, so. Yeah, I think it's running It's running out of gas. Certainly, uh have to say that um, there's a divergence here on the 15, but that causes these triangles. And this divergence, if it fails and breaks through there, so here we go. I'm going to attempt to take out the high of the day. So I put a put sell bank up here in anticipation of that. And we go up another 20 pips, maybe another 10, 20. Start selling up in here for the retrace back down. Or we get to the end of this, uh, top of this hour, and that's the top. You know, we're still getting... Um, I drew that on the 15th, so. But that's what that looks like as a triangle in RSI. And you're using that as your uh, price. Same patterns you would do on price. Just do an RSI. Okay, here we go. Looking for a spike. Good for a crush. So I place orders up here. And try to get in. Actually, 20 pips above that round handle would be a great place for it just to uh, crush everybody, and then we come flying back. So here we are coming up at the high of the day, top of the hour, 
no surprise there. And this is where you would see the uh, the uh, flash rally, and then my strategy is based on that being a momentary blip. So we got about 22 pips to go to the round here. Okay, let's see what happens. You got one minute left, and then they're going to do some. I don't know if it makes a difference. This beige book, uh, in two hours. This looks like a nice washout, nice uh, bear kill here. They're going to stop the bears. Okay, here we go. These are usually quick and dirty. You still got uh, technically about one, about 45 seconds left. So this is how people get blow up accounts real fast, selling up into these tops like this. I saw some guy on the internet trading like this. I was putting in massive orders at one price, if you can believe that. I'm trading real money here on this one, so I'm really pretty nervous. I'm just kidding. So yeah, I'm, I'm totally out. I'm so short one here, looking for go up 20 more pips. I got stopped out of my um, my early shorts, but this looks like about right here. Okay, so top of the hour, boom. We're gonna get an update on the one hour here. This will be the first. Now this is my IG three hours straight up. So I'm definitely selling at the market here, just because it's the end of the. Um, it's the end of the hour, so I'm going to sell three right there, three k. And then uh, comes down again. So yeah, you could have made uh, twenty pips on that had you bought this double bottom here with confirmation from RSI. There was a twenty pip trade. Slightly higher price, moreover, sold at a higher price than RSI, and um, these momentum days, man, something else really, really, really freaks people out. I could still go up here, so I'm definitely a seller all the way to all the way to um, heaven. Actually, uh, 20 pips above the uh, the big round 113. I liked watching this guy in the. Uh, some chat room who is so confident that the euro is just no matter what happens <laughs> just love these guys so the guy builds a robot and his robot all it does is trade divergence say on a 15 minute chart i don't even know what time frame he had because the screen was so blurry but all he does is sell this and then he says well if i get stopped out you know we get in in the next divergence i thought wow why don't you just why don't you just figure out the divergence uh when it fails, it's it's such a hard move in the other direction. Um, depending what time frame you're on, and a after the reverse, he should have had the programmer write in the uh, reversals into RSI. Actually, I think the best divergence would be the one that is like you're in a downtrend here. In other words, you're uh, you're on the longer time frame, you're you're bullish, right? Just presupposing that you're a buyer. But as you come down here. And right, right as you come to the floor here, you got this beautiful um, divergence that's kind of hidden or it's tucked inside of the other divergence. So you've got this. You know, and that's just... Then you have this breakout of the trend line. Um, you break out RSI first. And you can always go for this, uh, you know, treating RSI like price again. You just come in and and do stuff like this where you can see everything these these wedges they they just they just look great okay so here comes the sell here comes the uh, pullback looking to make 20 pips on the pullback off that top maybe not but yeah that looks like a real climax move there so I'll go to the 15 you just have to wait these things out Nice triple top divergence there. So if this divergence kicks in, and they do kick in, I mean, eventually the market is going to... But the problem is, is that um, it's a... Um, when the market has really got too much, uh, it's going to keep going up. These are just nothing but chances to get the hell out and go the other way. Because in 15 minutes, if we pause here, it just naturally gives you the uh, entry setup. So it's it's just a... 
I would say it's nothing more than a reason to pause. This top here became a bottom.